the type classify the different values to be stored in the variable so in uh, java there are two types of data types so the first one we have primitive data types and the second one non primitive data types so if you see this is the main data type so divide two types of data types we have primitive data type and non primitive so for primitive we have boolean and numeric okay so for non primitive we have string array okay so later we will discuss further about these two types of data types so the first one we have uh, four of them represent integers so if you see byte short int long is mainly for represent integers for but usually for our sleepers we are using integer Okay, second two of them represent plotting points uh, plot and double so the third one we have uh, to uh, represent character char and fourth we have represent boolean values boolean okay uh, four primitive data types still remember integer for integer double for plotting point number boolean we want to check whether the value is true or false char for character okay we see the example pass a question variables and constant are the basic data object that will be used in a program while the declaration list the types of variables with their initial values a. Identify the most suitable data type for the following statement. This one you must underline the keyword. Identify is the first keyword. Second, you must know most suitable data type for the statements. Okay, first, this data type is used to store values in a large array of plotting points number. So this is a keyword plotting point number such as currency value so of course the answer is double because the keyword here plotting point okay number two this data type is used to store a single alphanumeric okay such as letter number space symbol and of course character Number three, this data is used to store non-decimal numeric value such as RD number. So this one is integer. And the last one, this data type is to store either true or false. This is the keyword true or false value and represented by one bit of data. So of course the answer is Boolean because we already have the keyword to store either true or false value so when you write the answer make sure you write the most suitable data type for the statements so if you see what is operators okay an operator is a symbol which tells the compiler to take an action on operands and yield a value so the value on which operator operates is called as operands. So A and B we call operand and this plus symbol is operator. Types of operators we have arithmetic, relational, logical and assignment. So the first one, arithmetic operators. Okay, arithmetic operators in Java includes addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and the last one, modulus. Okay, modulus also known as reminder. So each of these operators use 
two values or operands to calculate the final answer. So example, you can see here this uh, table, arithmetic operation and operators. So for addition, so arithmetic operator, addition. Okay, so for math uh, expression, we have to write A plus B. For Java expression, still say A plus B. For subtraction, use minus operator. So A minus B, A minus B. For multiple, use uh, this operator. For math expression, you write A, B. For Java expression, use this operator A asterisk B. For division, use this slash symbol or a slash b or a divide with b for this use this uh, symbol for math expression for java expression compulsory to write a slash b modulus also known as reminder use percentage symbol so if math expression you write a mod b for Java expression, you write A, use uh, percentage symbol, and write the B. So this example, pass a question. Convert the following algebraic expression into Java expression. So if you see this one, it's actually is a uh, This one actually is a math expression. So how you want to convert to Java expression? So x same equal to two multiple with three. Okay, two asterisk three plus y bracket and divide with two. Okay, next we see the precedence of arithmetic operators so the precedence level so usually if you see uh, got bracket so you must do the, that's the first operation you have to do lah. okay the associativity you must follow left to the right second followed by the multiplication division and modulus Okay, if you see this uh, three uh, arithmetic operators in the same uh, line, so you must use this left to right associativity. The third one uh, followed by plus and minus. Oh. Third one followed by addition and subtraction. Left to the right. Okay, next, uh, this one is guideline for you. Okay, remember, both numbers are integer. So, you must remember, if the both numbers are integer, the division operator perform integer division. This means that the result is always an integer. If there is any reminder, it is this chart. So, example like average, 26 divided 8. So, if say average is assigned to the value 3. So, if you divide uh, 26 with A, so A, B, A, 24. Okay, so we only take this integer only 3. So, if you want the division operator to perform regular division, you must make sure at least one of the operands is a floating point number. So if average equal to 26.0 divided with 8, so the final uh, output will be in a floating point number. Okay. So average is uh, assigned the value of 3.25. So this is an example pass question. So this
Solve the following expression by observing the precedence of the respective operators. So for this first question, 7 plus with 8 multiple with 3 minus with 1. So if you see, we have to do the multiple first. So 8 multiple with 3, 24. Then we follow by left to the right. So 7 plus 24, 31, 31 uh, minus uh, 1, so the answer is 30. So second question, 17 plus 5 modulus 2 minus 3. So still remember the level of precedence, uh, so first bracket. So for this question, we don't have any bracket to follow. So second level, uh, we can see we have a modulus, okay. So this one you have to do first. Five modulus two, okay. Still remember five modulus two. We just need the reminder. So two two four. So the reminder is 1, so the answer is here, 1. So left to right, 17 plus 1, 18. 18 minus 3, the answer is 15. So one so more mark. Okay. So if you want to solve the following expression, first step you have to observe the precedence of the respective operators. So make sure. Remember this. Okay, next we see relational operators. So the relational operators are used to test the relation between two values. So remember relational operator to test the relation between two values. So all re relational operators are binary operators and they fall require two operands. So, n relational expression returns 0 when the relation is false and none 0 when it is true. None 0 means here 1. So, this is an example for relational operation and operators. So, you must know how to use a relational operation when equal to so relational operator we must use double equal so when you write a relational expression so example if code uh, so we must write double equal to one so less than as usual uh, this operator so example how you want to write if bracket a less than b greater than so this is the operator so if mark greater than 50, less than or equal, so we must write less than or equal, must put equal operator, so y i less or equal to 10, greater than, so greater than or equal, so example h greater than or equal 50. So in the last one, not equal. So we must use this operator. Okay. okay second, arithmetic uh, operation with relational operation. So for arithmetic operation, when you write r equal to 20, so operation assign the value 20 to a variable i. Okay, for relational operation i equal to 20 so the expression is to check if the value of the i equals to 20 so actually we have a uh, different uh, reading with arithmetic operation operation and relational operation okay and the last one logical operator so, use for identify the true value of the expression. 
So basically, we have three hub operator that you have to know. N operator or operator and the last one not operator. So this one how you want to write the uh, expression. Okay, example expression. So P and Q. Okay, or P or Q or not P. For precedence of logical operator from highest to lowest. Okay, so example. Okay, this uh, we have three questions to discuss. Okay, we want to find the output for this first question. Okay, the result. Lah. So if you see, five less than three is a false. Okay, it's a false. And six less or equal to six. This one true. So for n. So if you use n, so false true, it will become false. Okay, false if you see m, this one uh, basic uh, for false the value is zero, for true the value is one. Okay, so zero one become for n become zero lah. So zero you can write false. So next one less than three. Yes true or 5 not equal to 6 yes this one is true so true true become true okay and the last part 7 less or equal to 8 false so this uh, so not false become true so the answer is true okay for assign operators used to assign is mean to give a value or results of an expression on the right side to the variable on the left side of an equation so assignment operator is the use this uh, operator to assign lah. so example a equal to b okay so uh, actually for we assign to a okay so you must remember so, a value of the result of an expression on the right side. Okay, this one right side. To a variable on the left side of an equation. So, B. Okay, 8. We assign value to the B. Okay, total. Okay, the value for total is a, a plus B. Okay. Okay, when you all take note this, huh? Okay, this uh, level of the precedence. Okay, so make sure when you uh, see this uh, parenthesis, make sure you do. Okay, but therefore for the associativity, you must start from left to the right. Then followed by logical knot, multiplication, division, reminder, then addition, subtraction. And relational operators, okay, and logical operators. So make sure this one remember.